Normally I'm doing videos every Wednesday and I will continue to do videos every Wednesday. This is just something that was on my mind today and I think it's an important issue. Are you nuts? The importance of accepting your own compromised mental health and trying to lead a better life. Xanax, lithium, Zopaclone, Ativan, there are so many prescription drugs for anxiety, for depression. I'm sure you know at least a few people, I know I do, that are on drugs like these. I'm not currently, <laughs> nor have I ever been, but I know a lot of people have been, and I'm sure you do too. I live with depression and anxiety. This is not an excuse. I'm not looking to elect sympathy. This is simply to let you know my understanding of those two issues and other mental health issues. Like I said, I know a lot of people who are on various prescription medications. I've chosen not to take that route for my own reasons that I won't bore you with. But lots of people do in our culture. We force ourselves to be strong. We seek out things that will help us cope with the pressure in our lives. Not just the pressure, but you know, what we feel as people. Let's be real. We live in a very stressful time. We live in a time of much anxiety. And we have to work harder than our parents did, our grandparents did. You know, we drain ourselves until there's nothing left. And that's why the prescription medicine industry is so huge. My own anxiety, and maybe you can relate to this, if I have to go into a store and ask someone for something like some special order or whatever, I have to be outside for a few minutes rehearsing what I'm going to say until I'm comfortable that I can go in and quickly get through the ordeal. Just force a big smile until it feels real, until it feels natural. We're told this we're expected to put on a show, even if we're raw and hurting. So we numb ourselves with drugs, both prescribed and sometimes self-prescribed. We numb ourselves, paint over our weaknesses to bear the burden of expectations. This is one of my problems with the United States, the pressure, the pace of life. I used to live that way myself. Um, until I moved into the van th three years ago. This ex whole experience was covered in this No Signal book. And I didn't see it until I was outside of it, until I removed myself from the pace of life, the expectations of our culture. It's not sustainable. I mean, does it feel sustainable to you? Do you feel a life? Are you living a life where you don't feel pressure on you every moment? all the expectations of your employer, of your family, of your friends, of yourself. That's probably the worst because your own expectations are the ones that are going to, you know, you can't hide from yourself. There's no room in our lives for self-help, for real self-help. So what is the solution? It's a cliche that is a truism. The first step in solving any problem is admitting that there is a problem. Be honest. Do you want to keep leading this life? Does this life make you happy? Maybe it's all you've ever known, but maybe what you've known and what you've gone along with is not going to work for you. Maybe it really isn't working for you. And admittedly, change is not easy. Real change, making your life better, is never easy. But maybe it's worth the effort. Think about your life. Look where you want to be. You can change it. As long as you are still breathing, you can change your life and improve it. I sincerely believe this.